Hello people, today is the 12th of June 2009 and it's uh, 927, welcome to my trading video, the market's going to open up in 3 minutes, um, so I'll be back with some stuff here, and uh, this is what uh, I'm eyeballing is uh, SVNT, like I told you guys, I don't really like trading stocks under $10, but uh, I'm gonna start to to trade stocks under ten dollars, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, this thing's up forty eight percent, and I see it. It has a chance to get uh, to nine dollars uh, above that, actually, uh, just to fill fill a small gap here. And uh, well, actually, it's a pretty big gap. Um. It's about a about a four dollar gap here, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna look to trade this. Uh, so I'll be back with the market open. It's uh, gonna open in about two minutes, uh, and, and just to add to this, looks like a uh, market's gonna gap down, but uh, I don't think it's gonna affect my my trade on SVNT too much. So, anyway, markets can open up in about 10 seconds. I'll be back. Alright, markets opened up. Let's see what SVNT does here. You know, we're gonna get a, um, gonna get a thousand, but uh, I'm expecting it to sell off a little bit. And I'm gonna get more. Let it open up. Try to get more here at seventy five. It looks like I uh, probably won't be able to get. All right, here we go. Seventy seventy, too bad. Looking to get all the way up to like 5,000 shares here. What also, let me see what it did. Uh, at pre market, it did go up to $9, but I'm thinking it does have a lot more. It's got more in it. Like it may sell off a little here. All right, there we go. All right, I got six thousand shares. I'm leaving it at this, and uh, this thing, this thing should get up over nine. Well, and I'll have a really good profit. So anyway, be back to update. I don't want to miss the boat here, so I loaded up more. I got nine thousand shares, and this is gonna be good if it gets over nine, which uh, I'm almost sure it's gonna do. Uh, expecting nine. Low of this candle here is nine fifty, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting uh, maybe 920, something like that. But when it when it goes through nine, it's gonna be nice. So be back to update here. All right, just put in a sell order to sell a uh, 4,000 at at uh, nine, and I just got a hit on that. So I made 1,300 dollars on that. And see how the traders react here all right they're selling so I'm just gonna get out and take my profits so I made a great profit on this twenty twenty eight hundred thirty three dollars and be back with something else um, and I'll be back to update this one just to see if it uh how close it got to my target at 950 and I should have sold here somewhere in the 20s but you know you can't uh, 
can't get everything you want and um, usually I get out of these I get a little bit scared out uh, I like to take my profits uh, anyway be back with something else and update you guys on this all right back to update and there we go it's even one through the 50s um, the real gap fill would would be to get to uh, 1065 which is a point away from here but I'm not gonna play around with this uh, anymore here uh, unless it gets to uh, to the overbought conditions and we still got volume uh, that I might look at it but uh, still it's a good trade proud of myself and uh, so anyway you know, looking at something else even looking at this uh, ARST and I'm just looking forward to rebound uh, which it did and uh, I don't know how how much overbought it could get but I might be looking to short this thing soon just waiting to see uh, how it sets up anyway so be back with something else guys all right you know what gonna start shorting it short at a thousand so far look to get three thousand on this one uh, a little scary with these these big uh, <coughs> green bars but uh, I think it's starting to slow down a little bit So pretty much filled the gap already already but, um, anyway be back to update this one might not even be able to get uh, more shares here on the short side but we'll see I right, put some some bids out there uh, some limit orders to uh, short some more at 55 and uh, short the rest at 60 hasn't even hit 60 on the high yet high is uh, 1758 so uh, Living on the edge is as usual. All right got hit on got hit on a thousand on a f F55 and 60s here got hit on that and this is my full position guys and I'm gonna sit back and <coughs> and uh see what happens all right here it goes looks like it kind of topped out uh, at 1775 and i'm gonna look to get out of this at 1740 uh, it won't be that great of a profit but i think also if it could break break 40 uh, just got some room to get to uh, maybe 20 but we'll see um, might even short short it more if it gets back up into the 70s just gonna get another thousand anyway gonna be back to update you guys alright guys this thing is gotten really ugly but um good thing uh had more buying power, maxed it out when it uh when it filled the gap, and I got a limit order to sell at 17.47. It's still my original target, but now I got 5,600 shares, and uh, let's see what happens with this. It's really overbought. Um, not a lot of volume. That's uh, something I I don't like. And um, it just needs some uh, some uh, bearish reversal candles, and uh, the traders will see the light and start selling. So, all right, be back to update here. And here it goes, starting to go my way a bit here. It's not too far away, forty-seven got the uh, I got hit on some of it already so 
so good good profit on that already I'm up uh, 32.13 alright guys here we go looks like it might go here and we couldn't go get through that there so anyway be back to update and it's 9.55 and uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment came out just looking here at the economic calendar and looks like it's uh looks like it's bad markets selling off a little bit here so I hope that helps out my uh, my trade here on ARST and yeah markets still selling off hard here